I come to what the fuck? You just start me right up into a game with no intro? What the fuck is this, man? I didn't get no foreplay about this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he went straight to the butt sex. He's like, fuck that shit, man. No fucking foreplay. No licking on the titties or nothing. Just straight to the action. Jesus Christ, man. Shit. This better not be like a one minute video either. Look at this motherfucker. He like rage quit right away. <laughs> He's like, man, fuck this shit. I'm getting shot in my ass. I'm about this motherfucker. I'm tired of catching this flag. Nobody gets rid of this shit. But anyway, we got. I didn't even get into my goddamn thing. For if I come to number 53, we got gameplay for one of our Yaush members. Flails, and hopefully y'all know what the fuck Yaush is. You guys know it's one of the networks out there now for gaming. So hopefully people are visiting it. It's a great place to meet and play with new players. So hopefully people are getting involved in the Yaush network. You guys see, I'm obviously I'm a part of it. So I want you guys to go over there, say hello, drop by, enjoy the motherfucker. Because I'm telling you, man, it's really a great website for you guys to just mingle and meet new and great players. Like this guy, who gives me no fucking foreplay. Just throws me into a goddamn match right away. Jesus Christ, man. So anyway, as we can see, we're on Nuketown. Now, obviously, this won't be a two-minute video, so he's not going to be a total minute man up in this motherfucker, because obviously, you got to take a while to beat this shit. So, you haven't really gone after that beef flag. Dude, go after the fucking beef. <laughs> How the hell did that not kill you? What the fuck? That was just luck right there, man. That, oh, there you go. You got knifed in your ass for that shit. I mean, seriously, man. Just go get that damn beef flag. Fuck that shit. It's like, you know, that's one of my things, man. If you're going to play in Domination... You gotta be able to get that B flag. Once you look at that asshole, holy shit! And he didn't even have ghost on. He was just sitting in the corner just because he fucking felt like it. Now I know perk one is supposed to determine what you look like. I don't know what the fuck perk one was supposed to be right there. But seriously, that dude was sitting in the corner like a bitch. Now I like sort of he's doing. He's just sort of waiting for these red dots to go by so he don't see it. Like right? How the fuck did that guy not know? He's got holy shit. He's got some bad players. I'm swear, man. Black Ops has some terrible players. You know what? That's Call of Duty in general, man. Don't go saying, oh, it's Xbox, it's PlayStation 3. No, don't give me that shit. We have good and bad players on both systems. These are just bad fucking players. You need to go get that goddamn B flag. Yeah, seriously. Get the, or take the C flag. Do something. Don't worry about the motherfuckers in the... Oh, man. I'll tell you now, man. You better be playing with some randoms in this motherfucker. I mean, first of all, I haven't seen anybody even attempt to get you the B flag. Right? I haven't seen one person. I haven't even seen your teammates do it. I mean, that's, you know, that's the kind of shit. Look at this guy in his Ninja Turtle outfit. But you see, that's the kind of shit that just pisses you off, man. It's like, you know, you have to at least attempt to do it. I know when I see my teammates attempting to capture flags and shit like that, I help out. Granted, I'm not going to do all the capturing. I'm not going to be the one fucking flag monkey. You know, I'll do that in the party and shit like that. But man, there's no way in hell I'm going to be doing that shit if I'm the only fucking one. Like, you see right here, this is a perfect chance. Just go get the B flag. You have your three kill streaks. You had UAV, counter UAV, and, and the Blackbird. There's no... Oh, man. I mean, seriously, this... <laughs> I'll tell you now, man. If I was in the room with you, I'd be pissed. I'd be screaming at you. Oh, no, you didn't have your three kill streaks. You had the dogs have been this month. I thought you could have sworn you had the UAV. Yeah, whatever. You got your dogs. So, yeah, counter UAV, Blackbird, and dogs. Okay, so now that you got the dogs, go get the fucking flag. Or at least your team... Oh, my God. Did that Ninja Turtle run through the fucking flag again? Now, granted, you know... On Nuketown, there's a shitload of action, but you gotta get that B flag right away. As soon as you get the, you see what the dogs out, especially once you get the B flag, they are trapped. They are, now this is the third time I've seen you take out that that M wall, whatever that stupid shit is, and replace it. So why the fuck did you bring it in the game in the first place? I mean, you know what I mean? If you weren't gonna use it, fucking get rid of that shit. <laughs> Yeah, use that cheap ass gun, the fucking golden kippers, whatever that piece of shit is. Now I go get the B flag. Look, you losing out on the A flag? There you go. Now you're capturing the B flag. Yay, you're capturing. That's what I like to see. And the Ninja Turtle's actually helping you. You look at there. There you go. Now you got him trapped. Now's when the spawn trap begins. Now you don't have to worry about shit. Just sit by the B flag. That's all you got to do. They have to come out that direction. Yeah, I gotta like give tips on like spawn trapping again. <laughs> you gotta do the respawn trap videos so that people know how to do that shit the right way. Fuck that bullshit. So anyway, as we see. Nuketown, smallest map in the fucking game. Now, you know, I like small maps. I've always said that. I love playing on small maps. I love shipment. Nuketown would have been one of my favorite maps, but obviously this wasn't one of my favorite games, so I'm not going to play this stupid shit. But when it comes to small maps, this is what I like to play, because it's just running gun. I mean, they could camp all they want. They're not going to really kill much camping in this motherfucker. Oh, man, look at this shit. Just like a whole picnic ant of idiots. Look at that. And yeah, that MP5 ain't got no fucking range in this motherfucker. This idiot's not even paying to that. You know, that's the funny shit, man. People get shot in the ass, and they don't turn around in this game. You ever notice that? I mean, I know I probably have that bad habit, too. You get shot in your fucking ass, and meanwhile, you're just like, oh, fuck it, I'm getting shot in my ass. I ain't gonna worry about these motherfuckers. What the hell? Oh, I was about to say. I was like, how the hell did that not hit you? <laughs> <clears throat> fucking losing my voice trying to do, like, yelling over your spawn trapping and shit like that. So you see, you gotta protect the B-flag. If they go after that B-flag, you gotta at least protect that motherfucker. 
They, they you know this shit land like a, a pro grenade over the building. That's the kind of shit that hatred will love. <laughs> Hopefully you guys know who hatred is. Hatred is one of the guys that I always game with. He's the one that's always throwing grenades over buildings and shit. Now I guarantee you, if he does it, he's gonna post up the what the fuck is that guy doing? Oh, he's trying to shoot out the uh, air support. I was like, what the fuck? This guy's just like pointing up in the sky and shit. Did he just spawn there? I'd be pissed. I mean, we all look, you're doing it again! Just get rid of the fucking gun! Just get rid of that piece of shit. If you're not gonna use it, fuck it. Or better yet, blow a motherfucker up. Then get rid of it. Is that guy like AFK? I haven't seen one motherfucker. That one guy is just like standing there. He hasn't even fucking moved. There you go. Protect the flag. That's what I like to see. 18 bullets into his ass just to kill the motherfucker. So you host? Are they host? What the fuck is up with that shit? I got that goddamn orange side. I hate those shits. I don't know why they added those colored red dot sites, man. That shit was so fucking irritating. It, it doesn't do anything. It's just decoration. And I know people, they go out and they spend their, their, their COD points on that motherfucker. It's like, man, fuck that shit, man. I ain't spending my money on useless shit. It's all decoration. So I see we got dogs again up in this motherfucker. And let the dogs out. Let them go chew on their asses and shit. Is there some guy, like, right behind you? See that red ass, uh... There's one guy, he just, like, ran by his ass in the fucking building. I, I would've went after that motherfucker sitting in the goddamn building and shit like that. Man, how long is this fucking video? I thought you were gonna be like a minute man. You didn't give me no foreplay. At least you could've done a quick video. <laughs> oh man, this shit is barely halfway over. Oh fuck, what is this? Like a 12 minute video? Shit. 12 minutes of Nuketown. That's like torture. Cause you know, Nuketown, there's so much goddamn action. It's like, look at him. He's like speeding on out. He's running from back and forth on the map and shit like that. And these guys, man, they're just idiots. You're playing it. That, that's, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I love playing against idiots because it's easy kills and free kills for me. But man, he's got... They, I was about to say, I thought you were going to finally fire that shit? He, look at this asshole. Just camping on the floor. I think he's sniping or something. Now, I got to say, you got the short end of the stick when it came to the hipfire commentary because you just look at the video we just had with Modest Dust and his epic Mario and his fucking friends of fun. We just had the most ass-kicking video of all time. <laughs> that shit was great. I gotta tell you, man, I was like, man, I wanna play that fucking game. I just wanna play as that goddamn tank and shit like that, climbing as well. Look, that guy, he's gotta be away from his fucking, his controller and shit. I've seen, like, two or three guys just sitting in the fucking corner not doing shit. I mean, seriously, why do people do that? It's like, oh, you know, I feel like taking, look, there he is again, he's all the way in the back. It's like, oh, you know, I feel like taking a shit, fuck it, let me just leave my controller on, people could get some free kills and shit. <laughs> I don't get it, man, I was like, fuck that shit. Unless he plans on rage quitting at the end so he can save his goddamn kill death ratio or stats. Man, if you're gonna be away from the game, just fucking leave. What'd you do? Like, like let that guy know you're gonna stab him in his ass? <laughs> like, a, let me get a pop one bullet in his ass and then stab a motherfucker. This guy was a Ninja Turtle outfit. Damn, what was your score there? Did I see 75 kills? Yeah, it seemed like he had 75 kills. But then again, this is gonna be a fucking 15 minute video on Nuketown. So, yeah, better go sure get 75 fucking kills. Man, shit's taking forever. God damn. And you know what's funny? Can you only imagine this map in Modern Warfare? I was about to say, that was a nice little fail right there. Can you only imagine this map in Modern Warfare 2 with Commando and One Man Army and Noob Tools? Oh my lord, would people hate this map with a passion. I'm sure people already hate this shit in Black Ops. I mean, because we all know with the, the chopper gun. There's that guy. is again. Oh no, it's not the one standing still. But it's like, we all know in Black Ops, man. With the fucking dogs and the chopper gunner. Oh my lord, it's a pain in the ass. We can imagine this shit with noob tubes and commando and the chopper gunner and they, oh man, an AC-130 on this map. Oh lord, you can only imagine the shit that you would see with an AC-130. Holy shit, you would be seeing like fucking in a ground war game. Can you only imagine that with like eight kills and one bomb. Oh, forget it. This would be over. Tell you right now, this will be, it will be the worst fucking map ever created for Modern Warfare 2. But at the same time, you know you'd have fun in the motherfucker just because if you pull out those bullshit perks, you'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck people up. So your teammates obviously didn't give a shit about the fucking B flag. They threw some fart gas at the motherfucker, but they didn't actually protect the goddamn flag. So you better go get that. Look at this guy. Oh, Lord. I mean, it's like you just see that shit. You know, I don't know. You know, I haven't played Call of Duty in a while. Obviously, you know, the epidemic of ghost users and campers in this motherfucker is ridiculous. But I don't know if it's any worse than any of the other Call of Duty games. It's bad. Don't get me wrong. It's bad. And we all know it's bad because with ghosts, there's no counter to that motherfucker. There's no stopping power. There's none of that bullshit. But man, you see a lot of corner campers in this motherfucker. Damn, they're like all right out there. Look at that shit. How do they not notice? It, it was like, the dude just killed me in a building. Let me not go in the building. <laughs> it makes no goddamn sense. But my God, you are tearing these boys up. Oh, there's that guy again. Away from the keyboard. Just sitting there waiting for an ass whooping. And your team and you are not going after that B flag. I mean, sir, just go get a flag. You have your kill streak. Oh, Lord. This is like, you know, 
for me, I'm, I'm an objective player, and you guys, you, if you haven't watched by now, you guys will go watch plenty of my videos. Obviously, when I play with, with idiots, I don't worry about shit, but even to then, I at least protect stuff. And when I know I have a chance to win, I say, fuck it, fuck the kills, fuck everything. Look, you have 101 kills, who gives a fuck? What are you going for, 200? Just get the fucking B flag. Somebody capturing it? Looks like people are actually capturing that shit. If you guys lose this, and you have like 250 fucking kills, I'm gonna laugh. I'm really gonna laugh, because that shit's gonna be bad. Oh, man. I mean, think about it. You ever see those games where, you know, people, like, they go, like, 204, and meanwhile, they didn't capture shit. That's what I'm looking at. Nobody captured the... Oh, God. You guys are going to lose this fucking game because you didn't go after that B-flag. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm doing the math in my head. If nobody goes over there, you're obviously not going over there. You don't give a shit about the B-flag. I mean, you could... If you're such a... Here's my thing. If you're a great killer, you can kill while you're sitting on top of fucking flag. Doesn't that make sense? You know what I mean? Doesn't that make perfect sense? Hey, if I know how to kill people, I can kill them while I'm standing on this flag and I already see it. You guys lost the match. Holy shit. You're gonna get 100 fucking kills. And you're gonna let these guys win the match? Oh, Lord. 114 and 11. And you actually had more captures than everyone else on the team. And four defense. Oh, man. Anyways, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you in the next Hip Fire commentary video.